Today I'm going to show you how to create a party in Consultants Corner. So what you want to do is you want to click on this right here at the top. It's the plus sign and says create. And then you want to say what kind of party it is, whether it is a party, create a party, or create an order, or create a contact. And today we're going to create a party. So we're going to click on the create a party. Then you're going to indicate, indicate what kind of party it is. Is it an in-person one, a virtual party, or a catalog party? We're doing a virtual one. Then down here, is it a fundraiser, a wedding party, or shared rewards? It's none of those, it is just a virtual party, so we are not going to check one of those. Then you want to do the date and time. I do my parties starting on Mondays for Facebook parties through Facebook and I end them on Saturday. This does mean, however, that people can shop before that date. We just don't want them to shop after this date. Then you wanna make sure that you are putting in the information. So I am putting myself, I'm gonna do consultant acting as host, if I am the consultant that is acting as the host, or in this case, it's an old address, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then down here, it auto-populated, by the way, but you do need to put in first, last name, email address, phone, address, city, state, make sure you put that in, and then zip, okay? Address line two is if they have an apartment number, okay? Then down here on pay, party page and event link, I always put the person's first name here. So this is Natalie's Camper Chef Party hosted by Natalie Lewis. The party page will be the date that it starts, as you can see that. But I'm going to take my cursor and go back and do the year 2021. In 2022, I'll do 2022. In 2023, I'll do 2023. All right, so now that party page is, this is the shopping link, pamperedchef.com slash party slash Natalie Lewis 2021. The event link is something that you will come back to. And once the party is created on Facebook, you'll drop that link to the Facebook group in here. Now, and it's saying that I am a consultant because it's tied to my email address right there. So I'm going to do consultant acting as host. We're going to do create a party. And as you can see, this comes up. Now, if you wanna make this a table party, this is where you do that, okay? But you're going in here, you're going to click on the down arrow and you're going to see that all of that information is in there with the start date, time, and the order deadline, the type of party it is, the host's name, and then I have put in Natalie's Pampered Chef Party. And then down here, party booked from, it says myself. I'm not saving this party, by the way. And then in links, as you can see, shop now. I do not use this. I do not recommend using this right now. Okay, so ignore this. But this is the party page, so this is the shopping link. As you can see, it's www.pamperedchef.com slash party slash Natalie Lewis 2021. The event link will be in there once you create it on the Facebook page. And then the host dashboard, that's something that you can send to your host. And then the training video for the host, don't worry about that. They should be able to figure it out, but if not, you can send them a little short video. Here is where you can change the theme if you want to, and I already have mine set up to be new products, by the way, and I had edited this information down at the bottom because it's my theme. Now, you can edit, and as you can see, you can change it to a brunch, brunch and bevs, so let's change it to that, and you can see how the picture and the wording will change, okay? So that's I mean, you can do a brunch and bev show, it doesn't matter, but it says you're invited to a brunch and bev's party, mark your calendar, invite a friend or two, blah, blah, blah. 
but I changed mine to reflect it's a virtual party. So if you take a look at this, you're looking at this on your phone, you can take a screenshot of this and you can copy my wording if you want to. Okay, so we're gonna go back and save it. And then this right here is what it will look like to people when they open it on a phone. So this is the mobile. And then if they open it on a desktop, this is what it's gonna look like on a desktop. So it's just showing the two different versions. So that's how you create a party in Consultants Corner um, with the host and her party page link. And again, we're gonna do the event link once we get that group, group created on Facebook.